Hi folks, this is how to make a simple labyrinth. My name is Casey, I use the pronouns she, her, and in this video, I will show you how to put together a simple labyrinth for a walking meditation. And a labyrinth is not a maze. A maze has dead ends and wrong turns. With a labyrinth, there is one way in and one way out. And I like creating labyrinths for a walking meditation because it can help give you something to focus on. It can help make things or you feel a little bit more calm and grounded. And we would build this particular style of labyrinth at public markets or events like the Tacoma Night Market. And it was really special to see um, kids or adults, people from all ages, taking a break from a really um, active or crazy environment to, to walk the labyrinth. So what you'll need is full of twine. Um, you don't need an obscene size twine like I have. We use a lot of twine in my household. So um, you can get a little spool of twine. And then whatever you're going to end up marking or outlining your labyrinth with. So for our purposes, we're gonna use candles. And when we would do this at the markets or events, we would use the little battery operated tea lights. But you can also gather stones or leaves or anything from nature to create your outline. We'll get started. So depending on your space, your spiral might be really big and long, or it might be a little smaller and compact. I forgot to mention scissors when we set up our space, so make sure you have that because we will need to cut the twine when we get into the center. So just give yourself a little lead, and wherever you're going to start, um, just bring out the twine. And you're going to make a big circle. We're going to start with the outside of our spiral of our labyrinth and then work our way in. Labyrinths can be really nice to do outdoors for walking meditation. If you are setting up your labyrinth inside, then you can dim the lights, maybe plan on having candles, working our way into the inner spiral, and then go ahead and give it a little cut. And then step about a foot away from where you cut your twine, and that's gonna be your new starting point, and we're gonna spiral our way out. And you will end where you started. Now for your border, grab the materials or whatever you're gonna to use to create your outline, and then we'll remove the twine. This is just our marker. So we are preparing for a winter solstice celebration for the Yoga Wild On Demand platform. So I'll be using candles. And my business partner actually made these candles out of soy wax. But again, you can find anything um, that'll work for you. And just retrace your steps with the twine. I usually like to put a cluster of two or three at the center point so you know where you are working toward in your meditation. And now the fun part, I'm picking up the twine. Last step before you enjoy your walking meditation, light your candles. And if you are using candles, you could also intermittent um, put rocks or stones or other nature treasures in between your candles so that your lines are clearly marked out. I encourage you not to rush through this portion, preparing and setting up for a ritual is just as important and impactful as participating in the ritual itself. So give yourself plenty of time, be patient, and enjoy this part of the process as well. The 
Now you have a simple labyrinth for a walking meditation. I hope you had a good time setting up your labyrinth for your walking meditation. If you're interested in creating a special ceremony for an upcoming winter solstice, check out our masterclass on our Yoga Wild on-demand platform, link below.